Hello everyone! Again, my name is Carl Sese and I am your teacher for this trimester for the subject IT01, Living in IT Era. So for this video class, uh, we will discuss Chapter 6, The Internet and the World Wide Web. And our objectives are differentiate the internet and its components, identify how does internet works and its advantages, and lastly discuss the difference between internet, intranet, and extranet. So first, let's define what is internet. We are using internet for our daily living, for communication, for entertainment, for our study. So let's define what is internet first. So internet is a global network that connects billions of computers across the world with each other and other with each other and to the world wide web. All right, so um, it uses standard internet protocol, so TCP or IP, to connect billions of computer users worldwide. It is set up by using cables such as optical fibers and other wireless and networking technologies. At present, internet is the fastest mean of sending or exchanging information and data between computers across the world. And it is believed that the internet was developed by Defense Advanced Project Agency or DARPA, Department of the United States. And it was first connected in 1969. So internet was called a network. So why is the internet called a network? So internet is called a network as it creates a network by connecting computers and servers across the world using routers, switches and telephone lines and other communication devices and channels. So the internet is not owned by a single person or organization entirely. It is a concept based on physical infrastructure and connects networks with other networks to create global network of billions of computers. So internet is different from the World Wide Web or W class. As the World Wide Web is a network of computers and servers created by connecting them through the internet. So the internet is the backbone of the web as it provides the technical infrastructure to establish the W and acts as a medium to transmit information from one computer to another computer. It uses web browsers to display the information on the client which it fetches from web servers. So how does internet work? So we already know what is internet and why does the internet call a network. So now class, let's study how does internet work. So the internet works with the help of clients and servers. It is very important for the role, um, the role of clients and servers is very important for us to connect to the internet. A device such as laptop, which is connected to the internet is called a client. So Clients are our laptops, computer, tablets, any electronic devices that are using um, internet. Not a server as it's not um, directly connected to the internet. However, it is indirectly connected to the internet through an internet service provider or ISP and is identified by an IP address, which is a string of numbers, just like you have an address for your home that uniquely identifies your home. An IP address acts the shipping address of your device. The IP, uh, the IP address is provided by your ISP. As you can see what IP address your ISP has given to your system. So a server is a large computer that stores websites. It, is ha it also has an IP address. A place where a large number of servers are stored is called a data center. The server accepts requests sent by the client through a browser over a network and responds accordingly. <clears throat> so to access the internet, we need a domain name. So um, domain name, which represents an IP address number. Example of domain name, um, each IP address has been assigned to a domain name. For example, youtube.com, facebook.com, paypal.com are used to represent the IP address. Domain names are created as it is um, difficult for a person to remember a long string of numbers. 
However, internet does not understand the domain name. It understands the IP address. So when you enter the domain name in the browser search bar, the internet has to get the IP addresses of this domain name from a huge phone book, which is known as DNS or the domain name server. <clears throat> so first is type a domain name. For example, if you have a person's name, you can find his person number in a phone book by searching his name. The internet uses DNS server in the same way to find the IP address of the domain name. So DNS servers are managed by ISPs or similar organizations. So now after understanding the basics, let us, um, how, let us study now how internet works. So first is type the domain name. So when you turn on your computer and type a domain name um, in the browser or the search bar, your browser sends a request to the DNS or the domain name server to get the corresponding IP address. After getting the IP address, the browser forwards the request to the respective server. Once the server gets the request to provide information about a particular website, the data starts flowing. The data is transferred through the optical fiber called cables in digital format or, um, or in the form of light pulses. As the servers are placed at distant places, the data may have to travel thousands of miles through optical fiber cable to reach your computer. As we all know, plus that we are using the internet for our daily living. So internet help us to make our life easier and faster. So specifically, um, internet helps us through instant messaging where we can send or communicate to anyone using internet such as email, voice chat, and video conferencing call. We can also get directions using internet and using the GPS technology. We can shop online. We can pay our bills easily and faster. We can also do online banking. We can also um, sell online. We can work from home, especially during this pandemic. Um, we can also save our files using cloud computing or cloud storage. We can also build career by using internet where you can search for jobs online on different job portals and send your CV or resume through email if required. So after the advantage of the internet, let's define what is intranet. So intranet is a private network. So internet is a global network, while intranet is a private network that belongs to a particular organization. It is designed for the exclusive use of an organization and its associates, such as employees, customers, and other authorized people. So some benefits of the internet are it is cheap and easy to implement. Uh, um, it streamlines communication where um, the entire staff can receive company's announcements, ask questions, and access internal documents. It also provides a secure space to store and develop application. It also improves the efficiency of the company by speeding up workflow and reducing errors. It offers a testing platform for new ideas before they are uploaded on the company's internet web page. Information is also shared in real time or updates are reflected immediately to all the authorized users. Modern internets also offer a mobile app that allows employees to stay connected on the go. And also it aids in project management and tracking workflow and team's progress. It can work with mobile devices, which means it can provide information that exists on intranet directly to mobile devices of employees such as phones or tablets. It can also be used to motivate employees, facilitate employee recognition, and to reward them to performing beyond expectations. So there are three components of internet. Number one is the web server. Next, internet platform. Lastly is the applications. So of course, if there are benefits of the internet, of course, there are also the disadvantages, the disadvantages of the internet. Uh, for the disadvantages of internet, it may be costly to set up an internet 
due to hidden cost and complexity. Two is if the firewall does not work properly or not installed, it can be hacked by someone. Third, high security passwords are required, which cannot be guessed by outside users. Fourth is there is always a fear of losing control over the internet. Fifth is sometimes document duplication may happen, which can cause confusion among employees. And lastly, you have to give access to multiple users, so you may find it hard to control this network. So we are done in discussing the internet and internet. Now, plus, we will discuss the ex extranet. So what is extranet? Extranet is a part of an organization's internet. It is a private network that securely shares internal information and operations of a, of a firm with authorized people outside the firm without giving access to companies' entire network. So some of the benefits of Extranet are it acts as a single interface between the company and its trading partners. It also automates the firm's processes like automatically places an order with suppliers with inventory drops. Third, improves customer service by providing customers a platform to resolve their queries and complaints. Fourth, enables the firm to share information with trading partners without engaging in paper-based publishing processes. And lastly, um, it streamlines business processes that are repetitive in nature, such as ordering from a vendor on a regular basis. So how is Extranet, Extranet established? It is a setup in the form of a virtual private network as it is prone to security threats due to use of internet connect to connect outsiders to an organization's internet. Number one is the firewall, where it prevents unauthorized users from accessing the extranet. Second is the passwords. It also prevents unauthorized users, including the company's employees, from accessing the data stored on its server. And lastly, the limitations of extranet. So number one is the hosting. Second is the security. Third, dependency. The last is the last interaction. For the hosting, if you host astronaut pages on your own server, it requires a high bandwidth internet connection, which is may very, be very expensive. For the security, you need an extra firewall security if you host it on your own server. It increases the workload and makes security mechanism, mechanism very complex. Third, for the dependency, it is dependent on the internet as outsiders cannot access information without using the internet. And lastly, less interaction, it reduces the phase to use interaction between customers, business partners, vendors, and etc. with resource in poor relationship building. So now class, we already we already know the difference between internet, extranet, and intranet. So, plus, I hope you understand our discussion for today. So, if you don't have any questions, thank you for your listening and see you next time. For more ICCP Colleges video updates, please subscribe and click the notification button.